Hey there guys, this is me Mr. Malorian and this will be a Nether War Machine Battle Report and this will be the first game in the Steamroller I went to this weekend. Now this one here, I'm going to be up against Andrew and this is a game where I was telling you guys in the intro video that this tournament's being made up of some very serious players. I mean, it's kind of a shark tank for how small it is. Now, we've played a couple times in the past and it's always been very close, but I'm hoping now, with this one here being my Texas versus a Sevi 2, that I've had enough practice now with Texas and I've talked a lot of dojo about beating Sevi 2 that I'm feeling in a pretty good spot. Now, one thing I'm worried about is this scenario. Now, if you look on his side there with his flag, he has a building protecting his flag, and that could cause me some real major issues. If this was my build with the 60 drudges, it wouldn't, because the, uh, the what is it called, the unit coming in from the side, ambushing, there's the word, that unit there could just really cover for that and make it a lot easier, but I'm playing this one painted, and uh, that means it's press gangers. So I'm planning just to really go first, get up there, and uh, try and attrition as best as I can while going for a scenario win. So in my first turn, I put three onto one wrecker, two onto the other, uh, put up deceleration, and really everything is going up. Now this is the first time he's used the, the fast cab against me, and I know they probably will cause me an issue, but I'm planning just to take them out either with sprays if I get lucky and roll high enough, or also I can just adrenal flood some guys, some drudges, so I'm pretty sure I can handle them. Uh, I'm really worried about getting magical assassinated, but again, if I can just like tie up that arc node, I should be okay. So on his turn, what he does is he actually gets pretty far up. I thought he might be a little bit more defensive around his flag, but he's definitely sending a pretty strong contingent towards my flag. One of them being the Order of the Fist guy that goes up there and does his stance, and uh, he kind of runs the other stuff up, keeping the one combat jack a little bit further back, and otherwise arcs through the arc node to do some spells into my left Frustgangers that kills a good number of them. But, uh, you know, otherwise, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I lost some press gangers, but he both brought up both those reckoners so far that I could take them both out right now. So, with the spacing, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to send a adrenal flooded drudge into each of those uh, fast cab that he has in my way, take them out, get out of the way, and then I'll pop my feet, send up the wreckers, and if I can do that, take out both of his reckoners, just be swamped all over him, well, he'll have a really hard time to come back. You know, he might be able to come up and kill one of my wreckers, then the wrecker is going to kill his last jack, but yeah, I mean, at that point, uh, I should be then well and safe on my flag and well on my way to a scenario victory. Now, this turn really made me want to hit my head against the wall because I made a very early mistake. Uh, I go up there with the adrenal flooded guys, they do their job, and then I start moving things out of the way. So I have some order of activation issues, but you can see like the press gangers on the left, they just run up to encircle the order of the fist guy, so I don't need to worry about him for a little bit. Uh, otherwise, then I send up a wrecker, and man, guys, you know, when I got up there, I realized I hadn't done the, the agitator yet and done instigate. So instead of me being Matt 7, POW 19, I was Matt 5, POW 17, and that means I need 7s to hit. And of course, as you know, I wouldn't get lucky. I missed, I think, the majority of my attacks. And uh, yeah, that really, really sucked. So Reckoner left, the left Reckoner, has no systems locked lost whatsoever um, the right reckoner also survived that little feet token in there uh, he's just using that as a proxy to kind of show where everything is because you know with all the arms and stuff it's getting a little bit hard there but uh yeah otherwise you can tell that i'm all over his flag it's probably going to take him quite a bit to dig that out but uh yeah i really thought he'd be down two reckoners he's down no reckoners i mean really the reckoner on the right only has one box in movement so it's basically dead, but still, I didn't think I'd have to deal with it anymore. Uh, Dex is on the flag, so if he doesn't contest, I'll be okay. But near the end of the turn, I kind of realized that I kind of tilted because of my mistakes with the Reckoners, because I would planned to have a lot more guys around his arc node, and I didn't really get that done. So, first of all, I got lucky. He goes in there with his big other combat jack, uh, takes out the my Wrecker, 
So that means his good Reckoner gets to take an aim shot at my Thexas, which would be really bad because not only is it a shot to the face, but it also would fire me, which makes it everything easy past that. Uh, I think you need like a boosted six and he missed. So I, that was a huge dodging the bullet there. But it didn't matter in the end. He was able to clear out the guys around his arc node and then just magical assassinates me. I was only camping one. And uh, yeah, you know, if I was camping one more, I would have survived. But this is a point where I was just really upset with myself. You know, I, I'm sure, hopefully my opponent didn't notice how upset and salty it was. It, you know, had nothing against him, of course. You know, he's a great guy. Losing someone like Andrew is no shame whatsoever. But this is something that we were on the drive up. We were talking about, we we're dojoing about, saying that I always need to be camping two to four until I have his arc node out. And a big thing that I learned here too is that he put Enliven up onto his arc node. And so what I could have done is just charge the arc node, just wham them real good. And then if he wants to Enliven away, he doesn't ignore the free strike anymore. So I get another boosted attack. So that arc node would have been messed up if he would have Enlivened away. So I really, really should have just gone after him with that one wrecker. But uh, yeah, I just, for whatever reason, was going my normal attrition way. And I was like, yeah, if I take out two heavies, I'll be fine. And uh, maybe that would have been okay if I would have camped a little bit more. But yeah, I didn't, and now I'm dead. So I'm starting the tournament being down a loss already. You know, like I say, no shame. I mean, Andrew is a very great player. So to losing this game, you know, even if I played my best, he might have found another way around it. But it's just losing this way and getting assassinated this quick. I, I should have been more careful than this. So, all right, guys, that's the game. Uh, a little quick one. You know, the other ones will be better after this. But this is one of those ones where, I mean, maybe it shows that things like this you should really be practicing for and knowing because if you don't memorize these simple things like this boom you lose a game and uh yeah i'm out of the running for the tournament so there you go guys uh three more tournament games coming up and uh, i'll catch you then bye hey there if you liked watching this video please go down and give it a like down uh, below you here and if you have any concerns or questions or comments please put those in the comment section as well you know the best way for me to give you what you want to see is if you tell me what you like seeing and what you don't like seeing so otherwise thanks for watching and we'll catch you later